get to underreported stories uh, as well. Jan? Oh, I, for me, I mean, I, my kids hear me rant about this every day, so I may as well tell you guys. It's, it's the crushing impact that our COVID policies have had on young kids and children. Mm -hmm. uh, the, by far, you know, the least serious risk for serious illness. Uh, but, I mean, even teenagers, you know, a healthy teenager has a one in a million chance of getting and, di and dying from COVID, which is way lower than you know, dying in a car wreck on a road trip. Uh, but they have suffered and sacrificed the most, especially kids in underrepresented, at-risk communities. And now we have the Surgeon General saying there's a mental health crisis mm -hmm. among our kids. Mm -hmm. uh, the risk of suicide, girl, suicide attempts among girls now up 51% this year. Uh, black kids uh, nearly twice as likely as, as white kids to die by suicide. I mean, school closures, lockdowns, cancellation of sports. You couldn't even go on a playground in the D.C. area uh, without cops scurrying, uh, getting, shooing the kids off. Tremendous negative impact on kids. And it's been an afterthought. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's hurt their dreams, their future, learning loss, risk of abuse, their mental health. And now with our knowledge, our vaccines, uh, if our policies don't reflect a more measured and reasonable approach for our children, mm -hmm. they will be paying for our generation's decisions uh, the rest of their lives. And that, to me, is the greatest underreported story of the past year.